All right, today we're talking about another third game mode possibility. This time we're talking about War. So this is a game mode back all the way in World at War. It was remade as Momentum in AW, and it's a really fun team-based game mode that I think could be a really nice opportunity for us to play it as a third game mode in MW3. So let's get right into it. So we're gonna use the map Invasion that we're gonna be seeing in MW3 as an example to actually talk about what the game mode is and how it's played and why I think it would be a good competitive game mode for us. So the way that the game mode is set up is that there are five different flags. So I don't know where the flags would actually be, but let's just give an example here where we have one of the home flags over here, one in the courtyard. We're gonna have the neutral flag in the middle of the map, let's say right over here. And then we have two for the other team, uh, let's say one over here and one back here. So it doesn't really necessarily have to be in a line. I'm just doing this for a general example for you guys. So the idea of this game mode is control all areas of the map. So you have to do that in a subsequent order. So it starts with this neutral flag. There's gonna be a battle over here for this neutral flag. And if you're able to take that, if your team is able to capture this flag, you start to move on to the next flag. So that this uh, next one for your enemy team becomes the neutral flag. That means you're leading three to one at this point because you control three flags. There's one neutral one and your opponent controls one flag for themselves. So when a team captures that middle neutral point at the beginning, you know, they continue on to that subsequent point to try and capture that. And then they'll continue to try and do the same thing and capture uh, the final point. And when they capture these final two points, that means that they win the entire game. So this game is completely focused on map control because you're trying to get all five of those flags to dominate your opponent. And if we're talking about the spawns, you're always spawning in these original bases here. So it's not like there's any spawn logic that's needed. There's no wacky squad spawns that, that could be tied into the game. From my knowledge, you're always spawning in that back base. So if you're pushed up to try and capture this final point, you know, you're having to spawn all the way back here if you die. So that's the idea of, you know, maintaining that map positioning for your team and actually trying to keep uh, the opponents at bay at their base. Now, what happens if time runs out and there's overtime? So let's say we're in a neutral position over here, two flags to two flags with that no one neutral flag. This is an opportunity for it to go to overtime if the time runs out. So back in World at War, there would be only one flag and whoever captured that point would win the game. Going into the remake in AW, there would be three flags, so one team would have uh, their own home flag, let's say over here and over here. In order to win this over time, you would not only have to capture the neutral point, but you also have to capture the home enemy territory point. And I think this is a little bit of better uh, opportunity for overtime because you really need to, uh, again, maintain map positioning, maintain map control, and actually get inside the opponent's base to help win the entire game. Uh, but one flag could make it go a little bit faster. So in terms of scheduling, um, it, this could take a little bit of a while. So if there is a scheduling concern, you know, you could just make it one flag. Let's say instead the game ends with it being three to one for one side. So in the game mode, this would actually still trigger overtime. But what would happen is the team that was losing, so this pink team, would actually have an increased respawn delay timer. So it would actually favor the blue team just a little bit. So having that advantage towards the end of regulation would actually give you that benefit. But in terms of a competitive game mode and scheduling, wise maybe you can just end the game with whoever was winning at the end of regulation so it doesn't you know have to go to that overtime so if you are winning three to one at the time you still win the entire game even though you didn't completely full on uh, complete the mission of having all five flags capped in my opinion i think you should still play it out as if it were over time you know i think finishing the job and actually completing the the mission of the game uh, is important so i think they should stick with that now the really fun part of the game mode is how the momentum system works and this is why they actually changed the game mode title to momentum in aw so what would happen here is in the bottom left of your ui as a team you would have this progress bar and it would have two different tiers and it would be based on the amount of kills that you were getting and the flags that you were capping and you would basically fill up this entire bar uh, based on those actions and if you got to this first threshold over here you would get two times the flag capping speed so that was a really cool dynamic and then if you continued on let's say you passed this second threshold and filled the second bar you can get to here which was the end of the second threshold and this would trigger what they would call blitzkrieg and blitzkrieg was three times the capping speed and you would get that three times capping speed but it would decay over time and go back to two times uh, so you weren't constantly on that blitzkrieg so I think this momentum mechanic actually creates for some really cool opportunities because it does incentivize kills and flag caps. So you can have a full on bull rush where you're just completely capping flags, getting kills, and you can really win the game fast if you continue that momentum and continue that streak as a team. And eventually you end up winning the game by continuing to stay on that momentum spree. Or on the other hand, it can create some really cool moments. So like, let's say this is the last flag that you have to cap and the enemy team's trying to fight out of their base and they get some kills and you're starting to spawn out over here. They get some kills 
kills, they start pushing up, they cap this flag. Let's say they continue to keep going on the streak. They cap this flag, they cap this flag, and they go on a complete and utter domination for the rest of the map and make a huge comeback. You know, that's a really exciting opportunity for games. And imagine having that at a land, you know, a team is down to their last flag cap, down to their last few lives maybe, and they just go on a complete and massive comeback and win the game. You know, that would be super exciting. I think this is a lot more exciting than control at least. So I think there's a lot of opportunities for this to be consistent game mode because, you know, it's not as fast as hardpoint with the consistent respawning. There is a slight respawn delay like other modes like CTF. So I think it's that middle balance that you have where it is a slower respawn game type, but it is still rewarding of map positioning and team play. So I actually found some old gameplay of War Online on YouTube. So I'm glad this guy uploaded to YouTube. But as you can see here, we start with the five flags, one being the neutral one, and then each team has their own two flags. So you're starting with that first flag. You can actually go and skip a flag and start capping that next one. You have to go in that subsequent order of capping the middle flag first and then continuing on. And as you can see here, they get momentum. So you see the bar down here. As long as they fill that bar, they reach the first threshold. That's why it's yellow. And if they reach this next threshold, they trigger uh, what they call Blitzkrieg. And as you can see that right here, they're going to trigger Blitzkrieg. You're going to see it pop on the screen, capture the flags three times faster. So for that moment of time, they have that increased uh, flag cap speed. And as you can see, it's decaying over time. Uh, so it eventually goes back to that, that first threshold and it'll stay there uh, based on where the kills are going and how flags are being capped. So let me know your guys' thoughts on this game mode. Did you ever play it back in the day in World at War? I know I did. I thought it was really fun. You know, they did bring back that new war game type. That's not the one I'm talking about. This is a different public match game mode and i think it really breathes that competitive nature of teamwork and having that map control so let me know your guys' thoughts would you like to see it as a third game mode if not what else would you like to see but thank you guys for making it to the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed this one and i'll see you guys next time